Joomla Nutshell. Hello, uh, this is Elijah again with JoomlaNutshell.com. And what I want to show you here is how to back up your website using the PHP My Admin section. Uh, how I get there, actually, I'm going to go through the cPanel of my website. Now, you can get there anywhere, however your website is, your hosting is actually set up anyway. Um, so I scroll down, go to PHP My Admin. This is one way to back up, okay? Now, that's not the way I prefer. There's another backup section. Where is that? Uh, no, 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 I'm getting lost here. You can actually click on Backup or Backup Wizard. Now, I like these better because what they do is they allow you to back up your files as well, your custom-made files. So, for example, if you have a template or images that you have on your website and you need to back those up as well and not just the database, then you want to click on this. You want to click on one of these ways to back up your website. However, I'm going to show you the PHP My Admin section just in case you do want to do it this way. Drag that into the screen here. I'm going to wait for the database to load up. Now, once the database is loaded, this is the database I'm looking to back up here. So I'm just going to go to export. And I'm going to make sure everything's highlighted. Highlighted, actually. Don't. And you can go to select all, of course, if you want to select all of them. Now, if you only want to uh, back up a certain section, you can just click on that certain section and it will back up that for you. But I'm just going to back up them all leave it on SQL here or you can back it up in any way that you want but SQL is the way that you want to back it up in case you want to upload it later and then you can just go to your website I'm gonna put Joomla Monster and this lets me know which backup this is and then I'm gonna click go and that'll that'll save it to my desktop and you just go find that backup and there you have it just save it in a folder in a safe place so that you're able to use later on but once again like I said I would not use this method as it does not back up your files and folders it only backs up your database which is good if you have a lot of uh, users and you want to keep track of all your users and something happens to your website and you want to upload those users again this is what you want to do uh, but there are many alternatives to backing up your website that's one